the peace of Christ. Welcome back. Um, uh, so today I'm planning to, as I promised before, I'm planning to do uh, Bible studies so that uh, we learn from the Word of God and equip ourselves with the Word and have the right understanding of the 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 uh, uh, Word of God, which is the power of the Word of God. Um, so we are, I'm going to go to the book of Revelation chapter 8, uh, 11. Uh, we may uh, look into different parts, but the first source will be uh, from uh, the book of Revelation chapter 11. And, and uh, we are going to study about the two witnesses. Uh, the two witnesses in 11 and what is going to happen, who are these two witnesses and uh, what is going to happen to them, uh, why uh, the thing happened to them and uh, what is their final uh, destination or the final um, uh, you know, outcome of their lives being in the world. So who are these because, you know, I was listening and uh, reading, um, I was listening from uh, different uh, Bible scholars and also reading different commentaries. And these uh, two witnesses, they say, is about um, Moses and Elijah, or those are the two witnesses. Is that really what the Bible says? And if not, and then who are they? We are going to do a delve, or rather, we will delve into the Bible and try to understand and uh, know the time, because this is a timely uh, uh, lesson, a timely study, and because things are changing, especially in the in the in the years uh, since COVID, COVID uh, came into the world. There have been a lot of changes, and the churches are being uh, overtaken by the liberals and the gays and the lesbians, and uh, uh, and uh, the Muslims are buying churches. They are spending a lot of money. Even one one man. Uh, uh, um, let me go and show you. Um, Saudi. Prince Al uh, Ta Bin Talal. This is a Saudi prince. Two thirty-two billion billion dollars. Why? One Muslim man. One Muslim man. Philanthropy, they call it, for the expansion of Islam, for the religion of Islam. He promised in the western country and up away from uh, Islamic country, whoever wants to buy a church, there is free money. Whoever wants to, um, you know, uh, spread Islam, he has free money. That's what, in, in, in Ethiopia, there were a lot of Muslims coming together and then they were discussing how they can pay to Christians to kill other Christians. We have a lot of money, they say. We give them money and tell them to attack and kill the Christians so that we have the money. Well, we will pay them the first installment and when they promise to do it, they can kill these ministers and when they finish, uh, we pay them, you know, um, through uh, electronics means without coming together. So one man, thirty-two billion dollar. These are in uh, this money is where is it money? It is in Europe. It is in Africa. It is in everywhere. So this is there is a lot of things going on, my friend. It's not easy. The churches are being bought, and then the pastors are. You know, when you see a pastor going to Islam, don't wonder. You have to know there is something behind, and that is the love of money. The love of money. So, um, what what am I going to say is we have to be ready. 
We have to stand up and know the world which sets us free. So from uh, uh, from now onwards, we are going to study from uh, the Bible, uh, especially um, Matthew chapter uh, 24 and others, which is uh, 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 eschatologically very important a time, uh, you know, uh, 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 teachings of the Lord Jesus Christ. So who are these? The two witnesses. And then how are we going to uh, redeem the time? Know the time. When is it going to happen to those two witnesses? And then what are we going to do? Uh, that's what we are going to learn. So uh, please be ready to learn from the Bible and uh, read the Bible and compare and contrast uh, from, uh, you know, uh, from scriptures within the Bible, from one book to another book, and from one part of the Bible to another part of the Bible, and try to harmonize and learn and equip yourself. This is not fun, my friend. It is not a time to play. It is a time to rise above the powers of darkness. It's a time to rise above the deception of the devil, the deception of Allah, and the deception of the false prophets, the false teachers, and the false leaders. It is the deception. It is, it is, it is everywhere. Deception is everywhere. But we, how, do we, how are we going to stand up? Remember, Jesus said, said to us, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ said to us that there will be false teachers and false preachers and false prophets. They will even try to deceive the elect. Yes, it is happening. It is happening in our time. And the churches are taken, as I said before, by gays and lesbians and homosexuals. And uh, wickedness is all over the world, all over the church. You know, it used to be the church was a place when, you know, you have a whole lot of problem in the world. You know, from work, from from friend, from relation, from everywhere. When you have problem, you go to the church and you get you get educated, and they pray for you, and you be just relieved. The church was a place where we get uh, our treatment for our problems, but no more anymore, my friend. No more. Things are changing. So it is important, I think. It is very, very crucial, crucial or important that we take time and study from the Word of God and understand the real, the real message of the gospel. We cannot, you cannot go without. We cannot be successful without knowing the 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 the, the message of the gospel. We cannot guard ourselves without knowing the the the. The, you know, uh, redeeming the time and knowing where we are and who the enemy are and how they are working. So we have to know. So please have patience and try to go with me and let's go together and study the Bible and study the Bible from the book of Genesis to the book of Revelation. Let's try to learn and equip ourselves. Let's try to understand the message of God. And let's beg Him. Let's pray before Him. Lord God, open our spiritual eyes. Open our spiritual ears so that we may see the power of Your Word. The power uh, of Your, your uh, message which transforms our soul and our inner being. Yes, the Lord Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is a wonderful teacher and He can teach us. But let's pray. Let's take time. Let's prepare our, ourselves. Let's guard our spirit and learn from the Almighty 
world, uh, uh, almighty word of the almighty God. Because the word of God endures forever and ever. This is our heavenly, eternal treasure. And we have to learn, my friend. That's why I try to encourage everybody. Please, please, please be ready. Be ready. And get your pen and your pencil or whatever and try to write down and compare and contrast the, the scripture with the scripture, spiritual things with the spiritual things and try to grasp the message of salvation, the message of redemption, the message of deliverance, which is from the word of God. No other means, no other prophet, no other messenger, no one. But the Bible and the Bible alone. And it is the source of wisdom and the source of inspiration. So be ready. We're going to continue to do that. May the Lord richly bless you. Have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.